Hello again, YouTube. So Ortiz, back again. Still February 25th, and let's do a good old-fashioned field test. I am taking a reading. This is a radiation detector, and it measures in nanosieverts. It's running its test right now. That's what this little icon means. And it's reading 0.14. Typically, um, be somewhere right around there, but I'm just seeing if the radiation is any less in between here versus uh, another spot in the yard since we've had this little thing going in for three hours now. So it's taking its little readings. Ooh, 0.17. <clears throat> February 3rd, the day after Groundhog's Day, to February 11th, 12th, it snowed. So we had two feet of snow. The snow was easily up to here on the fence, all the way around the yard. After that, it rained like three and a half inches. So we've had a bunch of precip dump on us. As soon as it makes a little square, Corner. Boy, I hope you can read this. We'll know it's done with its test. It's done three of them. See how it's flashing? 0.15. When I do a radiation test, I always put my uh, detector in a Ziploc bag. That way you don't contaminate your tube. Remember, the Ziploc bag isn't going to do shit. <laughs> if it's radioactive, it's radioactive. This has a little alarm, so it lets you know if you're in a dangerous zone. That's very interesting. It's almost completed with its test. Now, you remember the little good old rapid test here. This is our thing that checks pH. Okay, looks like we got 0.16 on here. So that's that's pretty much that's your average. It's completed its test. Okay. Got a little box of solid. It's flashing. Okay, let's check our rapid test here. And our pH is just above seven, so not too bad. Yeah, this is reading point one six. I really hope we can pick it up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Off. We're going to walk to another part of the yard. A part where I've never had organite. Whew. It is chilly. Whew. Sorry, little dove. I'm scared of dove. Alright. Let's do our soil touch first. And we see it's a little bit higher for whatever reason. Not much higher. 0.2 maybe. Get up a little radex detector. Let's start its little test and see it flashing there. Beep, beep, beep. A little square. This icon right here. And that takes a little bit to cycle through. We'll let it do its thing. 0.18. Just trying to see, get any kind of data I can to see if those things uh, could possibly clear radiation from the ground, those organite devices. Um, one of the frequencies that I play to the crystals is, of course, the John Hutchison frequency when he was in the Gulf tooling around, and that frequency cleaned out the water. Uh, he has stuff that cleans out radiation. He's done proof. He lives right there on the coast. you got to have balls to do that, but he figures he's helping his friends in Minnesota because that's where Fukushima enters. 
and it sure does and it comes in here through the Chicagoland area as well so I had mutated vegetables right away so let's see it ran its first little leg of the test it's at 0.18 okay that one read 0.15 yay it's always better when it's lower it's still kind of high Whew. that wind is the wind is cranking, but look at the clouds. Yay, clouds. Clouds can also form from star water, believe it or not. Um, they're finding now that when the sun has a sunburst, like a solar flare, and actually, the way that it chemically breaks down to H2O when it hits the Earth, and that can form clouds as well. But we've had so much precip, this is typically how it should work. On a sunny day, it starts out sunny in the morning, all the water evaporates from the ground, especially in the spring, and it creates clouds. Okay, let's see, we're on our third leg of the test. It's at 0.16. Should have wrote them down I'm just going by memory i'm pretty sure that it's testing just slightly higher over here which is interesting to me the ph was slightly higher as well okay it's completed the little box you can see above menu it's flashing black that's what it's doing it's taking its four different readings again i am a proud uh, shopper at the American Science Surplus store, and that's where I got this little detector. That's where I got my little wrap test. And uh, gosh, I love that store. I can't wait to make another pilgrimage up there. I got to stay away from there. It's one of those stores I walk out and go, what the hell? What happened? I spent all my money. <laughs> so bring some money with you when you go down there. It's because they have so much cool stuff. You need to have to go to the store. All right, you can see it's the little square is flashing black. Well, I guess we're pretty uniform then. My first initial reading when I sat down over there was 0 0.08 though. So, I'm going to say it's a little higher over here. Just a stone's throw away, literally, from where the organite is set up. All right, so the test is complete. And there's your average. From all its readings, 0.16. All right. Sue Ortiz signing off, just a quick little field test. Again, beautiful skies. Again, just to remind everyone, I live in Aurora, so we have O'Hare Airport there, midway over here. It's commercial, planes fly over my house nonstop all day. That's not what's laying down the camp trails, because believe me, both airports are open and fine. <laughs> Everyone have a very nice afternoon. I will check back in in a couple more hours before dark.